welcome back to my channel. So today is Sunday, Memorial Day weekend. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I have my family in town, so my sister and my mom drove down for just the weekend. Um, they got here Friday afternoon and then they leave tomorrow morning. So Monday morning they'll leave and go back. Last night, Alex and I actually went out on like a little double date night with our friends and we went to the Whitewater Center. If you live in Charlotte, you've probably heard of it, but it's so cool. There's all these different really fun outdoor activities. There's beer, there's wine, there's restaurants, there's live music. Like it's a whole thing. Like you could spend the entire day there. Um, so we went and we had dinner and drinks and listened to the music, watched people whitewater raft. It was like really fun. So um, we did that last night and then my sister and mom obviously stayed with the boys. So that was nice. Today, um, my mom, me and Cam are gonna go downtown cam wants some ice cream so we'll get him some ice cream we're probably gonna just like walk around do some shopping just like hang out it's a little bit chilly today which is so weird it's been like in the 90s for i don't know weeks at this point today i feel like it's like 70 and it's chilly so um i've got my new little like a corded crew neck sweatshirt on it says america i'm all ready for memorial day it's so cute i got it from this shop called Riff Raff. i'll link it down below but it's probably sold out but i will check for you guys we're gonna get ready to leave i'm not bringing quentin because he has been like a handful today he's really tired so he's napping right now he just really seems overtired so i just put him down for a nap my sister's gonna stay here with him my mom and i are gonna take him out for a little while so that is the plan for today but yeah we're gonna get going I'm thinking you were made for me Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy What'd you get, Cam? Cotton candy ice Cotton candy? Yum, is it good? Yeah, and it changes colors it changes colors. Mm -hmm. What color? I think the blue, I think. Ooh, yum. So I just stopped in this cute little boutique and I bought some sunglasses. I like couldn't help myself. They are so freaking cute. I've never seen anything like them. Um, so they're by like Johnny Fly. Apparently he's local to Charlotte and he has this brand and these glasses are so cute. So they're like olive green. I don't know if you guys can see from the camera, but they're olive green. They are so cute and they fit really nicely. Like they're very light, really excited for these. They also had them in like black and I think one other color, but I had to get the green. We stopped for a little lunch at a deli. It's so cute and they have lettuce wraps. So we got like a BLT and a lettuce wrap and then my mom got a chicken salad, which is amazing in a lettuce wrap. So staying true to the keto life, but this is so good. Cam, what are you eating? A hot, a hot dog is good. eating dinner at Emmett's. So good if you guys, seriously, if you're around Charlotte, you have to try Emmett's, it's amazing. And the, jalap the spicy jalapeno margaritas are to die for. So, so good, the food was so good. Okay guys, it is Monday. Today is Memorial Day, happy Memorial Day. We are heading out soon to go to the pool. There's like a pool party Memorial Day celebration in our community, so should be a lot of fun. There's like food trucks, a DJ, it's like a big thing. So I just put a little bit of makeup on. I got out my new hat, Ain't That America. I'm obsessed with this, it's really cute. And I'm just waiting for Quentin to wake up and then I'm gonna get the boys ready and we will head over. I need new swimsuits so bad, so I ordered some from Cup Sheet, but they haven't come in yet. So this is like a super old bikini top that I've had for a really long time and it's like maroon, so it's not really technically 
America's colors, but it's close enough. Um, and then I have this that was actually sent to me from Brad Swim, I think it is, and it's reversible. Um, so I'm gonna wear it on like this, like maybe, maybe a light blue side because it's got like stripes and you know maroon and navy. It's like I'm getting that right. So and it's very high waisted, so it like covers up everything that I need covered. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna wear, and then I'm probably just gonna put like jean shorts and like a t-shirt or something on. Um, my bathroom is a hot mess, so please do not judge. Like, it is very bad. I definitely need to do some cleaning this week. Also, of course, I don't want to forget to mention what Memorial Day is all about, so thank you to everyone who has served this country, all of your sacrifice for our freedom. We appreciate it, and we thank you, and we love you so much. Um, and I think it's so important for people to actually remember what Memorial Day is about and not just think that it's just like some long, fun weekend to go out and party and you know grill hot dogs and swim and have fun i mean of course people want you to enjoy it but it is about those who have fought for this country sacrificed their lives for us and we need to remember that so god bless america and let's head to the pool to show y'all um, some of the new decor I got and I switched out my pillow so I was saying how I'm not sure if I said this on YouTube but I definitely was talking about it on Instagram for a while the pillows that I had before were that Magnolia brand from Target and I love the pillows when I was in the store once I got home and put them on the couch I wasn't crazy about them because they kind of matched the color of the couch way too much they were like stark white and then they had like a little bit of black in them and some tassels I put them on the couch and I was just trying to get used to them but after a while, I just realized they did not go and it was really bothering me. I also picked up like little charcoal tassel ones. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that. And it was just completely throwing me off. It was throwing the entire look of this room off. So I ended up going to Home Goods and found these pillows and I love them so much. I feel like it makes the room look so much better. So I've got like this big faux one. It's super soft. It's got a little bit of beige, gray and creams in there. This really beautiful, um, like beige pillow with like the woven. I think this is so pretty and it makes it look very cozy. So I put these here and then I got the same ones over here for, for this side. I think it looks really good. Um, this is an old Barefoot Dreams blanket that I just kind of like threw on the end. I need to clean this couch. There's like marks all over it. So I need to get my Folex out. These I've had for a while. I think I got these from Home Goods too. So just a bunch of cream colored. And then this is something that my mom, cause she came to visit, she was like, you need to switch out your leopard blankets. So let me show you my bedroom. I'm doing the sheets right now. So everything's on the floor. But this is the one that I was using before on my couch. This Barefoot Dreams Leopard Throw, which I loved the colors, but the black was just too much for that room. Um, and so my mom was like, okay, you need to take the leopard throw on your bed. This is like my Barefoot Dreams dupe. It's from Pink Lily, so it's like half the price. But this is the one that I had on my bed and my mom was like, you need to switch them. And I think it looks so much better. I love this like brown, like beige color with the couch so much more. It is really coming together. I definitely want to get like one more pillow here and then one more here. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. We're gonna have to look around a little bit more, but I'm loving these pillows so, so much more. And then I still have not figured out my coffee table decor situation, but I feel like we're going in the right direction with this. So I used to have this really cute little wooden bowl. I got this from Target with these little um, green balls. I forget what they're called, like moss balls. I used to have this over here on my breakfast nook table and I decided to take that away and I'm gonna find something a little bit taller for that um, and put it over here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it here yet, but for right now, I think it looks okay. I threw a book down right here. It's actually like a cookbook. 
Um, and then I found this candle at Home Goods. It smells really good and I thought it was like really pretty with like the brown glass. I got these beads from Amazon um, and then I just kind of threw them on there. And then this I've had for a really long time. This is from Home Goods from like years ago. And I put it right there. I feel like I need a little bit of color, so I may try and find like a floral, like a faux floral arrangement with like a light pink or blush or something like that, just to bring a little bit of color into this room. And then I do want to put something on the bottom, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do down there yet. This is what we're working with so far, but I think it's so much better. It makes the room feel so much cozier in my opinion. So I just wanted to update you guys on that little situation. I think I'm gonna be putting the boys like oversized pottery barn chairs upstairs in the playroom once I'm finished doing the playroom, which I also need to show you guys. It's gonna be so cute. Um, but what I want to finish doing is, oh, I think over here, I'm gonna do a blanket ladder. I might like move the um, TV center over just a little bit and then put like a blanket ladder here with a few throws on it. And then, I don't know, maybe move that to that side. Not really sure yet, but I think that would kind of make the room look a little bit better. So my mom also thinks that I should return this and find something else. She's not crazy about it. I think it's really pretty, so I'm kind of like torn. She thinks it needs to be bigger and she thinks that it needs to kind of like be more of like that shape where it's like bigger on the bottom, but then kind of goes in towards the top. But I do need to like stuff the inside with something. I don't know, I need to buy like that moss or whatever you put on the inside. And then I went into Kirkland's and I always buy my candles from Kirkland's now. I like don't even go to Bath and Body Works anymore. Kirkland's has amazing candles. And this one, the warm salted croissant smells so good, you guys. It smells like there's like a bakery in my house. It's, I can't get enough of it. It's so good. And then I also got another one of the like cafe macchiato, which is like a really good coffee scent. So if you have a Kirkland's by you, or if you can just go ahead and order it online, I highly recommend their candles. They are so much better and they're actually more affordable than Bath & Body Works. Okay, so I don't think I mentioned, I went and got my nails done. I found a new place that I love and the girl that I go to, I love her so much. She did exactly what I wanted and I usually go and get like the dip powder, but um, she actually talked me into getting the gel. She said, since I'm gonna be coming back for fills, it's much better just to get the gel because I don't have to like have, when you get dip powder, you have to have the whole thing taken off and then reapply. When you get gel, you can just, do refills which is cheaper and it's easier and it's faster. I did acrylic tips, I did the almond shape and then I did gel on top, the OPI Funny Bunny I think it's called which is like a really creamy, like pretty creamy white and I love it, I think it looks really pretty. And then I got my toes, I just did a polish change. Look at my Birkenstock tan again this summer. I swear every single summer I'm gonna have a Birkenstock tan. <laughs> They're like my shoes of choice all summer, like they're all I wear, but that looks so funny. Anyway, I just did like pure white on my toes. I did a polish change. I didn't even do a, uh, like a full pedicure because I didn't have time, but my nails came out really pretty. Um, and this bracelet, it's actually new. I got it from Amazon, how cute is that? Um, and then I also got a new ring from Amazon. I did a reel on my Instagram of my new nails and I've been getting some questions about my ring. So that first ring um, closest to like my palm is Amazon. It was only $12.95. I'll link it down below. It is so cute. And then the two top ones are actually from Everly Rings. If you're wondering why I don't wear my wedding bands, I've talked about this before, but they actually like don't fit my fingers anymore. <laughs> so I have to get them resized. And also um, there's like some damage to it. So I have to get it fixed, resized, cleaned, all of that. I just haven't done it yet. So we had a really good Memorial Day weekend. I told y'all I was going to the pool yesterday and we did for a little while and then one of our friends had a barbecue at her house so we went over there and it was so much fun first of all i'm not a big like ribs person like they're okay but i don't really go for ribs when they're at a barbecue these you guys were the best ribs i have ever had in my life the guy who made them like smoked them all day. They were just phenomenal. Like I can't stop even thinking about them. They were so good and the chicken wings were good. All of the food was so good and um, it was a lot of fun. The kids like ran around and played football and it was a blast. So we were there till like nine or 9.30 at night. Quentin stayed up way past his bedtime but he was really good. He really enjoyed it. Um, and it was like a lot of fun. So it was a really nice day. Um, and then last night, I also didn't want to vlog at the barbecue just because we just recently met these people and like I just didn't want to like whip out my vlogging camera and be in everyone's face you know so um, I didn't vlog it but yeah it was a lot of fun today I've been cleaning the house all day long um, I'm actually about to take the boys Quentin's napping he's gonna get up like any minute now um, and I'm gonna go see 
Jen's new house. My girlfriend Jen, who moved from Texas to North Carolina, they rented for a few months. They found a house and they just moved in this past weekend, so I haven't seen it yet. Um, and it's in the same area. It's not like in our neighborhood, like our community, um, but it's in the, or just about the same city. So anyway, we're gonna head over there and check out her new house. I'm so excited to see it, I can't wait. Um, and that's gonna be our day. So I'm probably just gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what else you wanna see down below and I will see you guys in the next one.